Welcome back to career mode. This is episode 3 and we are in Bahrain for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Shark and horror. But yeah, anyway, after our recent two good performances, of course the 5th in Australia and the 7th in Malaysia, we are looking to expand on, well, what happened then, but I don't know, I would that one wrong. We're looking to expand on what happened then and we're hoping to get another points finish. But anyway, here we are in qualifying, looking to set our lap. As you can see, well, we kind of haven't set a lap yet, but this is our first and actually our best lap as well. So, yeah, I mean, this is Bahrain. It's actually, this is one of my favorite circuits. I really do like racing around Bahrain. I don't know why. I mean, I just really like Bahrain. I think it's, I think it's because I like night circuits, but I don't like Singapore, which will be later in the season, and that's a night circuit. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of night circuits, and I've always enjoyed racing around Bahrain. But uh, after a little bit of working around with it, the Toro Rosso does not suit Bahrain <laughs> that well. So, anyway, we are now driving around. We're just prank well, kind of just going through the motions here. DRS down this back straight now, which is very thankful, because otherwise we'd be so much down on power, everyone would pass us. Because this Toro Rosso engine, it's got the same engine as the Ferrari, but it's uh, nowhere near as good as the Ferrari. As you can see, we went a bit wide there. And Sector 2 seems to be a sector that I'm good at, but I don't know why. It's like, I shouldn't be good at this sector, because of the engine. Well, not so much the engine, but a lack of downforce that the Toro Rosso has. But somehow we're very, very good in this sector, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're coming around the final turn now. We take it a bit wide off the track a little bit, thankfully that is concrete and not gravel or anything. We get back on the track and we do a 1.39.6 which puts us in ninth right now but by the end of the session yeah we're in 19th and we're out because uh, as we were on our best lap looked like we were about to get into Q2 uh, ran out of fuel on the last sector so I couldn't put in a better lap and I was knocked out. As you can see I'm knocked out with them lot. It's kind of annoying. It means we've got a lot of work to do in the race. 19th position is not a particularly nice one to be in. But anyway, let's take a look at the um, the lineup. Hamilton from Rosberg, Ricardo, Vettel, Raikkonen, Massa, Hulkenberg, Alonso, Button, Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, Verne, Grosjean, Sutil, Gutierrez, Maldonado, Kobayashi, Teros, Ofchies, Bianchi, Chilton, and Ericsson. The way I'm looking to do this is I'm kind of looking to go at least two places up off the start. And then the first turn with the AI are sometimes terrible. Because they put on the brakes really early in that and you're able to just dive bomb maneuver them down the inside. But there's 22 cars on the track so the dive bomb maneuver probably won't be as effective as it should be. But... We're getting ready now to go out onto the great third race of the season, and as you can see, it's once again a Mercedes lockout, as it has been for all the races of the season, and probably will be for the rest of the season. Vern in 13th, I'm in 19th, I think this is the first time this season that Vern has out-qualified me. But now we're setting in. Feels weird to be sat next on the grid to a cater him. Anyway, five lights. Lights are out, and away we go, here in Bahrain, and either everyone around me got off to a bad start, or I got off to a good start. Because the start felt better, Maldonado got off to a pretty bad start, Kobe actually got off to a good start, moving up to 17th. And now we're going right down the inside line, there's a lot of problems going on, Grosjean turns in on me. A little bit of contact, we're in 16th now though, side by side with Vern, we're up to 14th, we're up to 13th, the button's down in 12th, we're up to 12th. Seven places in the first two corners, now we're looking for Button's teammate. Kevin Magnuson, who puts on the brakes really early, as do a bunch of other people, and we're up to 8th. Losing the back end a little bit, though, and now Raikkonen, who has been a bit of a rival for us this season. So far, he's right in front of us, better contact with him, because Alonso put on the brakes really early. Hulkenberg trying to come down the inside, I'm off the racing line, Hulkenberg takes 8th. Contact with him, restricted to the outside line, Hulkenberg not getting the best exit out of that. But now we're going for a late maneuver down the inside. Hulkenberg debating almost whether or not when he's going to put on the brakes or turns in a bit too early. But thankfully, that was used to our advantage. And we take eighth and Bottas behind us now. 
took ninth as Hulkenberg's probably down in tenth. As you can see, this turn, much like in qualifying, we go wide on and we can't get the right turn into that. Then, uh, as we head into the second sector, which I'm apparently good at according to this game, uh, then we head on to the third sector, which is my worst sector possible. I'm terrible at this sector. I think it's because it's just straight line performance, and then we got this right-hand turn, which I can't get the power out of soon enough. So it was 1.9 between me and Reichner, the second split. Now it's 1.9. Okay, so we're pretty equal, as it turns out. But down this straight, look, Reichner's disappeared, so... There's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, we fast forward onto lap 5. We take a wide line again through this corner. Bottas right behind me. Bottas going to try and make a move up the inside. He's overtaken me and takes 7th place. We're in 7th now because a car ahead of us had retired. So we're back down to 8th. We're trying to now gonna try and hunt down Bottas. But Bottas is in that Mercedes engine, which means he has got a lot more power than me. And that Williams car is also very good. So we're probably not going to be able to catch Bottas anytime soon, especially with an exit line like that on the last corner. We get DRS, but as you can see, we are not gaining on, my, on um, Bottas. And Kevin Magnus is looking to try and come down the inside. He attempts the maneuver, puts on the brakes too early. We try and a late braking maneuver on Bottas. Wheels lock up, and, we're, and Bottas takes back the 7th and just drives off. While I look at the tyres, I want to talk about, uh, over these last few races, I've been talking about tyre problems. In Malaysia, we had an R&D test that I didn't show because it was a bit boring. And um, we were able to increase the uh, lack of tyre we were going to have, and I think that's either installed in this race or China, which is our next race. Anyway, now it's lap 6, well, now lap 7, and we're coming for a pit stop. We're down in 11th place already, trying to come out ahead of Hulkenberg. And, I th yep, we have done that. As we can see, the nearest guy, Massa, who I think was ahead of us in the pit stop, was... Yeah, yeah, he was ahead of us. And he's, you know, he was the closest guy to us, and he's pretty far away, so he would come out in 12th. Maldonado almost took 10th, but uh, he was unable to do that, almost trying to forgive himself for the bad start that he had. So now we've got a bit of work to do, we've got to try and warm up these tyres, and literally nothing happened in this lap. So we skip now to the end of the lap, Maldonado goes into the pits, are we going to be able to come out in 8th, put it in the rich fuel mixture for more speed down this back straight? Because we have not got any DRS. Hulkenberg takes now 10th, late on the brakes, and we're able to take Hulkenberg. Can we take Magnussen? Side by side with Magnussen, but we're able to get the inside line to that turn. And with the warmer tyres, we can take 9th place. There is someone ahead of us who is yet to pit. I'm looking at the map, and I can tell it's my teammate, John Eric Verde, who is currently, I think, in 3rd position. But I know he is yet to pit, so we're going to just drive past him in a moment now as he obviously goes into the pits. Kevin Magnussen now down the inside. Takes ninth, well now takes 8th place because he got the DRS, but the AI put on the brakes so early. You're able to do almost do a dive bomb maneuver down the inside, and they get a wide line on the way out. We're back up into 8th, and that was literally the story of the race from then. On every lap, I'd be overtaken on the straight, and then I'd take it back into the first turn. So that's why we're on the last lap, because literally nothing happened other than that first corner, lap after lap after lap. But Lewis Hamilton's won the race, and now we're going to come home for a hopeful, I think we are, we are going to come home for 8th position here at Bahrain. A, tif a difficult race, definitely. And I, I, we were lucky. We had a good start in that first lap, and we were able to go up to 8th place, and, the, well... The rest was from there. We were able to get to the 8th place and we just sort of kept it there for the entirety of the race. But anyway, here are the standings. As we can see, Hamilton, Juan from Rosberg, Ricardo, Alonso, Raikkonen, Massa, Botta, Soft Cheese, Hulkenberg, Button, Magnussen, Perez. Now I'm going to wait for me to scroll down. Scroll down. Uh, Verne, Grosjean, Sutil, Kobayashi, Gutierrez, Chilton, Maldonado, Ericsson, Bianchi, and the only retiree. Yet again for Red Bull is Vettel. In if you remember in Malaysia it was uh, Ricardo, and as you can see we've now dropped down to eighth in the championship because everyone ahead of us is well they deserve it of that. But anyway yeah we're on 18 points right now and things are looking good for us. And in the constructors championship we are fifth. That's pretty much due to me scoring 18 points so far this season. 
we've got off to a good start in these first three races of the season. I hope my luck can continue on in China, which is not a favorable track of mine. I very much dislike racing in China. It's going to be a difficult one, but I hope we can succeed there and get a finish roughly the same as what we did today. Anyway, that ends this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you on Tuesday for China. Until then, guys, take care. And turn